Hey, hey everyone. Oh my goodness. I accidentally must have turned off everyone's videos. Yeah, if you'll all turn on your videos, that would be awesome. Thank you. This is great learning. Just look up in the corner and you'll see a little video. And if you punch that, I must have accidentally punched everyone off on their on their entrance. So thanks everybody. I'm so excited. I got on about a minute early because I know everybody's trying to hop on. Hey Casey, hey Kathy, hey Jamie, hey everybody, hey Miranda. So excited you're here. Uh, we got another minute. Uh, we got a special guest opener for tonight. A su surprise. So you guys are going to be excited. Um, a a another surprise on top of our amazing surprise, uh, which you guys all know, we're going to hear from Lisa again, but I'm just so, so, so excited. You know, I say that every time, but I love that we are together at home. I love that because of something that happened, we have created something incredible where we can all connect. We can all come together. We can all learn together. I always tell you guys, we are makeup enthusiasts, but yes, we have a lot of great makeup artists in the company. A lot of estheticians and spa owners and salon owners and it just goes on and on and on this company although it's only five years old it's got a really rich history so i am going to see if our special guest lisa you're number two number one let's see if she hopped on uh yes 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 let me just run through the names real quick and i know everybody's kind of finding their way on right now but we are so excited if you're a guest uh casey our, is our amazing chat bar guru she is going to keep up with our chat along with all of our beauty guides. So if you're a guest of anyone, we do have a giveaway tonight. Uh, I have another fabulous gloss, one of our best-selling summer shades. It's the, the kind they bling out. So if you are a guest, if you will just put your name in the chat bar and who you're a guest of, that will be very helpful. But we're just, we're so excited you're here. We're so excited to get this started tonight. Um, we've been doing this for several months now, several, several months, and they just keep getting bigger and better and bigger and better. Okay, so Mary Kay, I'm going to just pull you up and I'm going to unmute you and I'm going to pull you to the front for a minute. I think I just did. Hang tight. I think I did everybody in reverse uh, where you actually came on. Let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to ask, I'm going to spotlight you and I'm going to ask to unmute you. I think you're muted. Hello, hello. Sorry. I'm so excited that you you reached out to me today and like I'm getting on and I'm like come on girl let's do this um, and I told you I said we we could possibly have a hundred people so we're gonna record this and you can give it out to anyone you want but I was like come on and say hello and it is so exciting to have you here you're one of my favorite people along with everyone else on this call I have so many favorite people because this industry allows us to really get to know and love one another it is a sisterhood before it is a business and you come into this and you're just blown away at all the beautiful women who really want to see everyone succeed and you have just been incredible since day one so I'm so glad you're here so nobody knew you were coming so this is a surprise so I wanted you just to share number one I wanted to say Wall Street broker to selling some lipstick so this is not, yes. we're, not even, we're not here to recruit you we're really here to talk to you about the history of long life and it's so rich and Mary Kay knows better than anyone because she was the very first person who came into this company she said yes when she wanted to say no I know she wanted to say no over and over again so I'm gonna pass it to you um, I believe you're spotlighted now and so we should see you on the big screen and if you'll just give us just five minutes of history and whatever you want to share that should get these women excited about wanting to use these products like what what do they have their hands on thank you for oh my here. gosh I, I swear you're giving me five minutes and you know I have the gift of gap <laughs> So, um, first of all, that's my first challenge of the night, is trying to get this out in five minutes. But I'm going to do the best I can. Thank you. Thank you, Claire, for having me. And hello to everybody. This is so exciting. There's so many yeah. people on here. So fun. Yeah. Yes. So yes, as Blair said, my name is Mary Kay Kemper. I'm the very first person to join this incredible company that we call Live Life by Alcone. And yes, I did say no a couple of times because fear is a thing. And I was extremely intimidated, um, mostly by the nature of these amazing products, because I am not a makeup artist. And as Blair said, I came from a corporate world of Wall Street and money and bonds and finance. And makeup was not something that really interested me or that I was very good at. I wore it because I felt I had to, but I never was one of those people that actually loved makeup. And mostly I've come to learn now because I was very ignorant 
about makeup and certainly ignorant about skincare. I was told to use like Dove soap and, you know, <laughs> that was it. And, um, you know, put on a little mascara and a little lip color. And I don't know, my Irish skin was such that, you know, I, and I had large pores and I was oily and I had all this skin problems that I was like, oh, this is too complicated. But when the <clears throat> Lime Life opportunity was presented to me, I do remember the very first thing, um, one of the first thoughts that I had was why, why professional makeup and why would everyday women want or need it? Um, so for me, the context that I brought to, to that idea was that that was for celebrities or that was for pros or, you know, that was for somebody who was under the lights of Hollywood and why would an everyday woman need that? And I was quite blown away when I was presented some of these products by our amazing CEOs to try. And um, it was brought to me as sort of a, I believe at the time, I was a little bit of a test bunny. They were trying to see would everyday women resonate with these products. And the minute I tried them for the very first time, I was joke, no joke here, totally blown away, totally like I had my hands on a absolute winning lottery ticket and an absolute secret that I knew all women needed to know about. And um, I remember specifically calling Michelle Gay, our CEO, and saying, okay, <clears throat> this is the holy grail of makeup. Quote, unquote, you have made me fall in love with makeup, which I never thought this woman would ever say. <laughs> and here I am named Mary Kay, and I'm about to go sell beauty products for a network marketing <laughs> But um, I knew I had a secret and I knew that I had my hands on something that everybody needed to know about. And it really, it was, um, the best way I can describe it is <clears throat> like when you watch and you look at fashion magazines or you watch people on TV and you're like, how do they get that? Like, how do they get that glow? And how does their makeup look like that? And I never felt like I could achieve that. And when I tried these products, it was like, oh, this, this is how you achieve it. And I never really understood pro pro professional makeup. I mean, you guys, as the pros that are on here, can all tell us about that. But you know, when you talk about pigment and you talk about color, it's the last thing to break down on your face. So you look flawless through the day. It doesn't settle into fine lines and pores, and it blends so beautifully. So I started to wear this makeup all around town. At the time, I was living in Connecticut. I'm now in New York, but I was living in Connecticut and I would go out to grocery stores or out to dinner with friends. And my friends would say to me, what is different about you? And they couldn't pinpoint what it was. And, and that's when the secret took on a whole new level because I was like, okay, wait a minute. Like I'm wearing the makeup, the makeup's not wearing me. So there was this moment of, wow, this makeup is actually bringing out my own natural beauty and in turn is making me feel so confident in myself. And that's what my friends and family were seeing is that this makeup was bringing my inner beauty. I always say it's like when your inner beauty matches your outer beauty, that's when people are like a magnet to you. They're like, what are you up to? Why do you look so happy? Or you just had an extra eight hours of sleep or you were just on vacation. I remember friends would say to me, did you get your hair cut? Like, did you go away? Like they could not pinpoint that it was makeup that was bringing out this, this glow, this happiness, this, this confidence, right? And so I was like, hmm, this is, this is so awesome. <laughs> like I have to share this with everyone and anyone I know. And as somebody who is a natural giver, it made me very nervous to think about, you know, being a representative and having to quote unquote sell makeup and skincare to people. But I can tell you that it changed very quickly to service and to a, a, a real desire to help women look more confident. And so I talk all the time about, I don't sell makeup and skincare, I sell confidence because uh, people just need this in their life. And when you have something that you love, as women, you naturally share it, right? You naturally become a share person. And so I am so honored, I'm beyond blessed. This company has done so much more than provide confidence and amazing products. It has truly changed my life in so many ways that I, I'm not gonna go into on this Zoom. But, um, <laughs> 
you know, it really has become um, a platform for me to step into my greatest, most purposeful, most impactful life. And I owe that as well to the amazing culture of this company and these beauty guides that you see on here tonight and just the fun that we are absolutely having by changing people's lives, helping you all look and feel more beautiful and having so much fun along the way. So I'm so excited for you guys to get started. Yes. And a little more about these amazing products. Um, right. But I've been here for almost seven years now and have a team of 22,000 beauty guides in nine different markets across the world selling over $10 million a month in these incredible products. So if you're a numbers person like I used to be, those numbers should really speak to you about how incredible these products are and how much our customer base, people around the world are just loving, loving, loving what we're doing. So I'm excited for you guys to all get to see them up close and personal, even if it's virtual. <laughs> it's the next best thing. Well, we're so excited to have you here. Thank you so much for hopping on. Thank you for joining us. I'm so excited about tonight because Lisa came on with us last week and we learned some about makeup and, you know, we are all makeup enthusiasts and that's what I love about this business. That's why I've been here for 30 years because you don't have to be a makeup artist. You don't have to have any special skills to do this. Like you said, you just have to have a love for serving women. And so when I meet someone like Lisa and she's got this big old heart and then I hear, oh my gosh, she also is truly an esthetician, a little skincare guru. Room, I'm like, okay, so you get the best of both worlds with beautiful Lisa because yeah. her heart is so big and she really does want to see other women have more beautiful skin. And so coming from the esthetician world and coming from the spa industry, she was taught and she was grown up with all chemicals. I mean, that's, I mean, I, I've been going to spas for years and years and I quit going because of all the chemicals. So I can imagine when she was introduced to this line, the thought of, oh my gosh, can I really transition this way? So I'm so, so, so excited. One more time, if you're a guest, if you want to win a prize, you just need to put your name in the chat bar. We got Casey over there. She's our, our DJ girl, and she's putting you in the spin wheel over there, and we're going to spin that wheel, and we are going to pick a winner. Um, so if you're a guest, if you'll just put your name in the chat bar and who invited you, we are so happy you're here. And so I want to ask you guys a question before Lisa starts. Like, if you have one skincare wish, like, what is your greatest skincare wish? So like, if I was a magic genie and I could grant you a wish on your skin, Tell me in the chat bar, what would be the one thing that you would want to enhance or fix or change about your skin? What's the one thing that you fight? So we'll come back to those. Um, I want to turn this over to the amazing Lisa. Lisa, thank you so much. Lisa is a mommy. She's got three young children, a new baby, and she just serves and pours into everybody she can possibly touch. And I love her, just her heart. And I, 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 you're going to love everything she has to share with you. We did makeup last week. So now we're going to talk skin. Know that this Sunday we have another makeup artist coming on that's going to blow your mind, an African-American woman that is going to show you she is a makeup artist and she is going to teach us more about makeup. So we want to just keep coming and keep bringing the love on and keep sharing with women and keep just widening the circle of bringing people into our lives in their own homes, which I love. So Lisa, I feel like we're side by side. Girl, I feel like we're just like right here, girlfriends, and you're gonna just talk to me about my skin. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So excited to turn this over to you and hear all the goodness you're gonna share about, you know, tell us a little bit about your take before you go into skincare about the, the, the rich history, like what, what turned you onto this country? Because I'm sure it wasn't easy, you coming from the esthetician world to be, you know, told that this was something that you were, you know, you were gonna need to have in your arsenal. So. Thank you so much for Lisa. Like, thank you, Lisa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on the big screen. Let me put you real quick up here. Everybody got alphabetical. Somehow everybody got out of order. Where are you, Miss? Okay, there you are. All right, so we're going to Spotlight. All right, thank you. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Blair. And once again, it's such an honor to be here with all of you. And I'm so grateful for the technology and the Zoom platform that allow us to truly stay connected during this time um, and, and have a little fun and talk about skincare and makeup at the same time. Um, so some of you were on um, last week's Beauty on a Budget, where I talked more about the makeup and sh showcased the teen collection. Um, and I tried to incorporate everything in at once. I tried to talk about skincare, I tried to talk, talk about makeup. And just like Mary Kay, I have the gift to gab too. And um, when we're, we're, you know, down to an hour, we got to be more intentional. So I'm so excited to be back today to really talk to you about something that I am truly so passionate about. 
And for those of you that were on last week, you're going to hear a little bit more of my, you'll hear again my testimony of my skincare. Um, so maybe you'll hear something new about it. But um, for those of, of you that um, it's your first time, welcome. And um, I'm really excited for you to hear from a perspective of a professional of how this skincare line has truly not only transformed my skin, but my confidence. Um, I talked about makeup and how makeup can make you feel beautiful and it can enhance your natural features. But the whole thing is, is your skincare can transform your skin. So as an esthetician and really wanting to help others see their desired results, my passion was to help others feel and look more confident. And I did that with the vehicle of skincare. And as Blair shared with you, um, you know, my background of an esthetician and makeup artist is 17 years. I'm self-taught. Back then there was no YouTube, there was no Google. It was all just learning through passion um, and wanting to help others. Um, and with skincare, I quickly found my way into more anti-aging um, treatments and regimens such as chemical peels and ultrasonic facials. And um, working in a spy atmosphere, I worked a lot more with medical grade products versus your free of harsh chemical products or organic products. Um, and so for years, I only knew one way. So sometimes when we're taught one way, we don't know that there's other ways, right? And so we think our way is right. And I was seeing great results. My clients were happy, you know, everything was great. And, um, but when I stumbled upon Lime Life, or when Lime Life found me, once again, it was the makeup that brought me to this company. The products being professional grade products that no one in the consumer world had ever been able to get their hands on before, except for celebrities and pro makeup artists. I knew I had liquid gold in my hand, or as Mary Kay said, we had the best kept secret in our in the makeup industry that we were going to be able to share with everyday women. So um, I joined in the very beginning and had no clue that we were launching a skincare line. So I thought I was selling makeup. I was all about it. I'm a makeup artist. I was just showing product. And um, all of a sudden I find out we're launching a skincare line. And I'm like, okay. And I find out that it's free of harsh chemicals and organic, you know, ingredients that are, are certified organic. And I was like, hold up, like all natural. So my thing was as an esthetician is I thought chemicals were the only way. I thought chemicals were the way to see results, to, to see effective results, and to see the quickest results. And um, needless to say, um, I, I knew the makeup that I had was something so special, and I wasn't willing to not give the skincare a try on that, on, on that account. So I decided that I was going to put all my products away. And ladies, when I tell you all my products, I love vitamin A peels, TCA peels, glycolic, lactic, and everything's okay in moderation, right? But I was doing peels probably every two to three weeks. My skin looked good, but it was extremely processed. It was very dry. Um, you know, I, so I was doing these, these treatments on myself all the time. And um, so when I put my box away, I was like, okay, two weeks, how long can I go for? Like, Two weeks, that's all I got to do. So I put all my products in, in a box and I put it under the sink. And I mean, a really big box <laughs> of product under the sink. And um, I started using these products. And I was really resentful at first going, okay, like, what am I going to do? I, I love this makeup, but I really, I don't believe in, in products that are free of harsh chemicals. Like, how am I ever going to share these products? Because like Mary Kay said, when you're, when you look at a perspective of being able to share a solution with others to feel better about the way they look and feel, you're not selling, you're sharing, you're serving. So I've never looked at myself as a salesperson. I've always looked at myself as a solution person. I've always tried to provide solutions in any realm of life. Skincare just happens to be one of my, my gifts and, and one of my true passions. Um, and so when I did that, I, I slowly started to, she didn't say slowly, I saw dramatic results to the point where um, I found myself not wanting to go back to that box. I found myself every week thinking, do I want to go back? No. Like my skin was feeling so balanced and it was feeling so refreshed and so rejuvenated. And um, I can tell you now it's been five and a half years and I've not done one chemical peel and I am exclusively 
limelight skincare. That's it. I get more compliments now on my skin than I ever have before. People stop me and they're like, what, what, what do you do with your skin? And um, I have samples on me and I'm handing them out. But the thing is, is I never got these, these results or I never got these compliments. And it's truly transformed my skin and my confidence. Um, and so, my, you know, and then as I went further into that and really realizing and doing more research, you know, our, our skincare is created on a mission. It's a mission to really educate people about the importance of their, their ingredients and, and knowing that some of these ingredients are very harmful and creating, you know, long-term effects down the road. And when I started doing more research on it and realizing the backstory of how like our CEO's um, best friend, you know, died of skin cancer, or I'm sorry, triple negative X breast cancer that um, they felt was related to you know, her skincare and her lotions and things like that, it started making me think more about really the importance of educating people about their ingredients. And as I shared with you last week, I realized that, you know, as an esthetician, in order to do these chemical peels and other things on pregnant women, I wasn't able to use certain chemicals. I wasn't able to use vitamin A or retinoic acid, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, you know, chemicals absorb into your bloodstream in less than 25 seconds. I think it might be even a little bit less than that, but I always try to stay with 25 <laughs> because it blows my mind how quick they go into your bloodstream. And so I started thinking about this and I was like, okay, if I can't use these on pregnant women because it puts the baby in harm's way, why in the world am I choosing to put these chemicals on other people, knowing the effect, knowing the possibility that these are very harmful on them? And then I took it a step further and was like, why am I doing this to myself? Like, why? And so I became more of an advocate for all natural products. So here I am, an esthetician that was all about, you know, chemical peels and all these result oriented medical grade treatments. And now I'm on the complete opposite spectrum of it, advocating for all natural products. But it truly has blown me away, you know, and I could not be more grateful for the skincare. I could not be more grateful for the confidence that it creates in other people. And knowing that when I share it with someone that I believe in the product and know it's truly going to help them. Um, so with that being said, I could not be more excited for tonight's um, presentation because this is one that is probably my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Um, all of us, you know, so many, I shouldn't say all of us, but some of us struggle with the aging process, whether it be the fine lines, whether it be the crepiness, whether it be the sun damage that we got when we were 18 years old and now it's surfacing at 30 and 40 years old. Um, you know, anti-aging products are very, very um, important and vital in a skincare regimen. And one thing I want to point out to everyone is regardless if you're in your teens or your 20s, your 30s, your 40s or your 80s, anti-aging is a necessity for everyone. Because if you're in your teens to your late 20s, you're in a preventative stage. You're preventing the pro you're preventing the process of aging with your skin. You're taking preventative measures using these products. If you're late 20s to mid 40s, I would say you're more in a maintenance stage. You're going to use these products and you're going to see quicker results you're gonna see things that turn around a little bit quicker. The hardest stage to see results are the ones that really, need, really want to see the results. And that's your corrective stage. That's gonna be 50 plus. That's gonna be the people that have really started to see that aging process in, in, a, in, a, in a way where it's visible to people or visible to themselves. And so anti-aging across the board is great for anyone. So I love really educating people on the importance of anti-aging and how it's beneficial to anyone of any age of any skin color. So the products I'm going to be sharing with you today are my favorite, my favorite five anti-aging products. So we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be talking about skin polish. So grab your skin polish ladies. And we're going to be talking about my favorite dynamic duo, which is Sotox and One Drop Wonder. And then we're going to talk about the secret weapon that doesn't get talked about enough, which is the eye arise. And this is a really big one. So we're going to talk about that. And then of course, we're going to talk about your staple anti-aging product, which is your sunscreen. 
and the most important product of everything is sunscreen. The thing is, is if you're taking the time to learn about these products and invest in your skin and invest in products, um, the first thing I say as an esthetician is buy a sunscreen because you're gonna buy all these other products and you may see results, but let me tell you, you're gonna damage your skin more than the results you see because you're not taking care of your skin with proper protective precautions. So sunscreen is a must. And it just so happens that the sunscreen is the one product that I can't live without that has truly just blown my mind in, in our skincare line. Um, another thing I want to add before I go into this is that, you know, part of our mission here is to make this affordable for everyone. So these products that we're going to talk about tonight, they're extremely affordable. They're not high-end prices. And for example, our Sotox, which I like to call Botox in a bottle, our Sotox has an ingredient called Songi Mushroom. Songi Mushroom is really good for lightening um, dark spots, for lightening pigmentation. I had a product at the salon that I used to work at with the exact same ingredient, Songi Mushroom, and that product cost $125. It blows my mind how affordable and high quality these products are and how result oriented they are and how you're really getting what you pay for and more. Um, so we're going to get started. Um, and I figured I would actually do a tutorial with you and kind of show you how I use these products. Um, another thing I shared with you is that, um, I'm all about save time, save money. So I'm also going to give you different ways to apply these products. One of the things that I love is being an educator is not only do I like to educate you about the products and the ingredients, but truly how to apply it, how to get the most effectiveness of these products. So we're going to start. Um, are there any questions? I know that they, I know Blair, you started with a question. So I'm just trying to see if there was anything that you be my uh, mediator. Okay. Oh, you're on mute. I can't hear you. Okay. If you have questions, be sure to put them in the chat and we'll come back. Um, but yeah, so far so good. I, I think we're all, all keeping right. our eye on it. Just remember if you're a guest to put your name in the chat. So we put you in for our drawing at the end. But yeah, this is incredible. I'm loving it. Muting back. Awesome. Okay, so the first thing with anti-aging is that we want to talk about exfoliation. Exfoliation is a key part of, of anti-aging because when you don't exfoliate, you have layers and layers of buildup of dead skin. One, when you apply your product and there's dead skin, it's going to absorb into that dead skin and never actually go into the healthy layers of skin. So it's very vital that you're exfoliating once to twice a week. Another way uh, or another reason why you want to exfoliate is because it's going to take away that dead layer of skin. It's going to give you that youthful glow. It's going to give you that radiant look to your skin. It's going to help minimize fine lines, large pores. Um, so exfoliating is a, is a really key process to anti-aging. So I start with the mask because that's something that um, cleansers for anti-aging, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys as a professional. Cleansers, you put on your face, you take them right off. So the product that you use for a cleanser isn't as essential or as vital as the products that you're applying and are staying on your skin because that's what's absorbing into your skin. That's what's staying on your skin all day long. So cleansers, um, if you're looking for hydration, if you're looking for anti-aging, our midnight oil cleanser is phenomenal. Our quench cleanse is awesome for hydration. Um, but we're going to kind of skip over cleansers today and go right to these five products. So skin polish can be applied in three different ways that I like to use. So either you can do it as a mask and you can apply it for like 30 seconds um, as a, not as a mask, I'm sorry, as a scrub for 30 seconds. Um, and then just take it off when you're in the shower or, or, you know, a splasher. I know Kathy asked a question like, are you a washcloth girl or a splasher, you know? Um, so, you know, let's ask you guys, like, are you a washcloth girl or a splasher? Let's, let's hear from you guys. You know, how do you rinse off your, your cleansers? Um, and then I'll tell you a, a, a pro tip about using one of the, one of these ways. Um, so anyways, skin polish has, um, a whole, a whole of beads in it which is a, like a round spherical bead. So for those of ladies, and there's no shame in, in your game, but apricot scrub, right? A lot of us probably used it. It was a trend, it was a fad, the apricot scrub. But the apricot scrub, the pieces of apricot were dried 
And so they were actually creating little lacerations because they weren't filed. So here you are exfoliating your skin, but you're creating little lacerations in your skin that's allowing the moisture to seep back out. So yeah, you're taking a dead layer of skin off, but now you're creating even a bigger problem. And when we're talking anti-aging, part of anti-aging is definitely hydration and moisture. So you wanna be really um, particular about the scrub you're using. So ours has a really small round bead in it. It's very hydrating. It's got a lemon peel extract, so it's gonna lighten and brighten. So um, what I do, I normally don't put it on the back of my hand, but I was trying to show you the consistency of it. It's kind of creamy, really, really soft like butter. Um, and so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna apply it just as a scrub. But another way you could do this, if you wanted to skip a step, is add this to your cleanser. Make it an exfoliating, uh, an exfoliating cleanser. Um, it's a great way to exfoliate your skin every day, but buff it out a little bit so you're not doing too much. Because as women, we think the more pain, the more gain, and we're like, you know, scrubbing, doing the microderms and all this crazy stuff. But actually, we don't want to overstimulate our skin either because that can create an overproduction of oil. And then we can have a bacterial mess of acne and breakouts and inflammation. So all I do is really focus in these corners right here of my nose. I get a lot of buildup right here. A lot of people struggle, struggle with larger pores right here. So just in a circular motion, really kind of, you know, back and forth. I would say, you know, counterclockwise and clockwise. Just focus on those areas. For me, um, I have a breeding ground of blackheads on my chin. <laughs> I, I definitely get a little bit more congestion on my chin. Um, I like to focus right here for my crow's feet. So these are like certain areas that I definitely focus on more. And then my, my 11s. And then these fun lines up here. And so that's where I give a lot of attention to. And then I just kind of everywhere else. So as this starts to dry a little bit, I'm not using any water, you'll feel there's more tension. So if you're doing this with me right now, you're gonna feel that there's more tension. You're gonna feel like all of a sudden, it, it's definitely a little bit drier and you're not feeling as much beads. That's really good because you're actually now starting to exfoliate that dead layer of skin. As you can see, it's just giving me a nice glow. And I was in the sun all weekend, and this feels amazing right now. <laughs> I can't get caught up on in massaging and exfoliating my face. Hey, um, Lisa, Lisa, is the red, the, the uh, blood flow coming to the surface? Is it collagen being stimulated? What, what is that redness happening in our skin? So we're definitely stimulating the skin. We're, like you said, you're, you, the blood flow, you're getting the blood flow circulating. Um, collagen, you want to be careful with because... Um, collagen, you really can't necessarily um, reproduce. You really want to protect it. And okay. that's with hyaluronic acid and things like that. Um, but there's not really a way to reproduce your collagen or, or interject it. You know, like when people say, oh, this is collagen boosting and that, like it's more of a marketing thing than really truly being able to recreate collagen. That's why it's so important that we need to be using anti-aging products. Um, so does that help a little bit, Blair? Yeah, so you're saying anti-aging products are the ones that help with the collagen, not necessarily Correct. the skin polish. Okay. Correct. Okay. Um, so, and then also with, so where are my washcloth girls? We have some washcloth girls. So, <laughs> like I said, I'm save time, save money. So, if I don't have time to do my scrub this week, I'm not going to lie, I just take a washcloth and I use that extra grit. So it's not necessarily a microfiber. I have my microfiber here and I have my terry cloth, my terra cloth here. I'll use a terra cloth one and just get that extra exfoliation and do a dry exfoliation. So little did you know that your washcloth is actually anti-aging. <laughs> Great stuff. So, um, and there we go. I'm just gonna take that off. Another thing about exfoliating is, once again, if you're putting makeup on, you want to have the best canvas that's going to allow the best results for your makeup. So if you have a lot of dead skin and you have, you know, and it's really dry and things like that, your makeup is not going to perform the way that it will when you're really taking care of your skin. Okay, so going on, so we've masked, and I would say you'd want to mask maybe um, two to three times a week, like I said, especially with um, skin polish or mask of Zen, they're not really, really aggressive peels or masks per se. Um, so two to three, three, three times would be fine during the week. If you're using it as a scrub in the shower, 
probably three times a week. Um, and if you're using it in your cleanser, you can get away with it every single day because you're using it as a buffer. Um, okay. So I, I, I could say like, here's my next, here's my favorite product. And I would you'd hear me say that over and over again with each one. So here's my dynamic duo. <laughs> and here's one that um, truly I've watched people's skin transform within, in months. I've, I've watched an amazing things happen. And with those amazing results, once again, comes confidence right? And seeing women truly feel more confident about the way they look and feel and not feeling like they have to wear makeup and just loving the skin that they're in is truly the most rewarding job ever. Um, so Sotox, like I said, Sotox is our Botox in a bottle. This is my jam. This is one of my staple products. I cannot go a day without using Sotox and one other product I'll share with you after. Um, this is something that like I said, has not only changed my skin, but so many other people's skin. So our Sotox has two main in ingredients in this. One being the Songi mushroom that I talked talk to you guys about. That Songi mushroom is going to be for lightening and brightening the skin. There's also another really key ingredient in this product. And that is uh, a rare algae called Pallelin. And Pallelin is going to tighten and firm the skin. So not, are, not only are you getting the properties of something that's lightening and brightening, but now you're getting the tightening, okay? So who doesn't like tightening, right? Like, <laughs> can I put it all over my body, please? <laughs> um, so Sotox is honestly something that, you know, you would, your, your chest, your neck, everything. And honestly, if you wanted to, to mask your, your chest and neck, obviously that's very important too. So often we forget and neglect our chest and neck. And that's still something that is so visible and gives away <laughs> our age very easily. Um, so Sotox is a great anti-aging serum. Now, when I share these products with you, it can get really confusing if one, you don't have a skincare regimen. Two, you may have like a step-by-step -step that like says step one, step two, step three. It can be really confusing. So I want you guys to remember thinnest to thickest. That's the most important thing when you're using your skincare, no matter what brand you're using, not anything like thinnest to thickest. Because if you're just applying randomly products, you could actually be creating a barrier when you're putting another product on and it's not actually penetrating into the skin so you're not getting the most effective results. So when I say thinnest to thickest, I mean your serums, your hydrators, then your lotions, then your creams, then your oils. Oils are actually um, very large, they're very, um, they're larger particles. And so they can act as a barrier as well. So your oils are always gonna go on last too. And then obviously you're gonna finish with your sunscreen. Um, so you have this product, which is absolutely incredible, but then you pair it with this secret weapon. Well, I already told you the IRI is a secret weapon, but we're gonna use this as another secret weapon. And you pair it with One Drop Wonder. And One Drop Wonder blew my mind. One Drop Wonder, which ones are considered oils? Um, Annabelle, the ones that are considered oils are your Dew Confidence and One Drop Wonder. Um, so when you pair this product with this, so our One Drop Wonder, before we pair it, let's talk about this first. One Drop Wonder is a carrier oil. It's also a booster oil. We're argumentatively the only product on the market with the one ingredient, Pomifera, that's refined. So what I mean by that is a refined Pomifera oil, it's from the earth. So you're gonna get more of that earthy smell. So we have a formula where we've, we've learned how to cold compress the oil to physically extract it and use just one ingredient. Pomifera oil is great for, it's an antibacterial, it's antimicrobial, it's uh, antiseptic. I mean, this goes on bug bites, this goes on scars, this goes on road rashes. I mean, I've seen so many incredible, incredible results with just this product. So this product alone is amazing. But then you pair it with Sotox as a booster oil and anything you pair with this, anything you pair with this product is actually going to take it deeper into the skin to see quicker and more effective results. So you want to see that lightening and tightening? throw this bad boy on either before or after. It's up to you. I know I said oils after. There are some theories with this that as a carrier oil, you put it on first. I will tell you, um, since this product launched five years ago, I've always used it on top to push the product deeper into the skin 
because it has a heavier molecular structure. So it pushes the product deeper in um, to see the greatest results. What I will tell you is about this product is I don't suggest this product if you don't know the ingredients in your skincare because this doesn't just penetrate your all natural ingredients. It doesn't know how to decipher which is which. So if you're using a product that's loaded with some kind of chemical like benzoyl peroxide or something that um, parabens, right? Parabens can be considered a carcinogen. Um, your sodium lauryl sulfates, your SLSs, anything like that. It's going to push all that product in. So before you go ahead and invest in this product and try it out, please, please check your ingredients. And if you're not sure, reach out to your beauty guide and they can help you with that. Um, so I always, I always share that with you because this product is so incredible and so potent and powerful that if you're using, you know, harmful ingredients, it can push that deeper into your skin too. So moving on, um, I, I was never crazy about eye treatments. I never thought they worked. My, my clients would be like, hey, can I have an eye treatment? I'm like, yeah, if you want to relax and that, but I don't really see results with them. So I was never really about eye serums. I was very skeptical about those as well. Um, and one thing that my clients love about me is I'm really honest. I'm not going to try to sell something to them or do a treatment on them that I don't think is going to help them. And so they never had to worry about me just doing something to do something. So anyways, we launched this eye serum and I was like, okay, yay, we have an eye serum, you know? And um, once again, I was like, well, I'm going to try it. I have to try it and see. And I saw instant results. So I would do, sir, I would do treatments on people and not really, I wouldn't see results at all, to be honest. Um, but for some reason, this product was different. This product was helping with dark circles. This product was helping with fine lines. This product was just, you know, really smoothing out the creepiness under my eyes. And I was like, what in the world? Now, ladies, I will tell you, I have not one stitch of makeup. I, I have mascara on my lashes. I have not one stitch of makeup on my face nothing, no concealer, nothing. But I use these products, or products religiously. And that's why my skin looks this way. And that's why I can come on here with however many 62 women on here with no makeup on, because I truly feel confident about the way I look. Um, and so with the eye rise, what I love about it is there is an aspen bark in there that really helps um, with the dark circles. And then there's also a carob, uh, carob seed oil, and that's going to help with the tightening. So once again, we're getting the lightening and tightening, lightening and tightening. So do you see a pattern with anti-aging products? It's all about lightening and tightening. It really is. And preventing and correcting. And like I said, preventing and maintaining are the best places you want to be because correcting is where you really have to see results and you're going to have to work harder with your regimen. Um, so... This little magic wand here. What I love about this is that it has a ceramic cooling tip. So not only do we have lightning and brightening, but we have a cooling tip. And so if you want to place this wand in the refrigerator for a little bit of an extra boost, you can, but there's no need to because the ceramic tip actually is going to have that cooling effect and that's going to help with your puffy allergy eyes. So if you struggle with allergy eyes, this is amazing. Um, and the way you can do it, I find that if you try to squeeze it out, on your eyes, it's a little bit harder and it might come out a little bit fast. Um, I've had people that have called and said, I feel like I just like squirted liquid gold out onto my bathroom tile. What do I do? And I'm like, sorry, wipe it up and, <laughs> and, and let's learn from it. You know, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, so I don't want you to do that. As so I'm telling you now, this is, this is a way that I've realized to really help my customers understand how to use it and use very little of it and use it effectively. So what I do is I put it on the back of my hand first and I just get a little bit like that. I don't squeeze it anymore, but I use a ceramic tip to apply it and I kind of just press and you can see it's a little moist, but I'm not putting a whole layer on it. Once again, less is more, you know, sometimes we want to put more product on, but really our skin can only absorb so much and then we're just wasting product. Funny story. My mom's not a makeup person at all, total jock, still plays softball to this day, 65 years old, all over the country, like 
doesn't own a stitch of makeup, but she's really fallen in love with our skincare and she's really seen results. And I've seen that, that confidence in her just feeling younger and, and because she looks younger. And so she got hooked on the IRIs, but the first time she used it, ladies, I swear, all of a sudden I was talking to her and I saw this and it was like, I came up and I just peeled this layer off her skin. I'm like, what was that? And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, well, did you put something on your eyes? She's like, yeah, I tried your eye storm. I was like, mom, how much did you put on? She's like, oh, maybe like a quarter of the tube. And I was like, so needless to say, if you put too much on, it's going to be like a thin layer of extra skin. It's going to look weird. It's going to dry. And you know how, when you put like one of those like clear, I don't know if you remember, but I had like this cucumber mask when I was younger and I put these cucumber masks on they would dry clear and then you would see like every line and it would look like your face was like 80 years old and and then you know you'd peel off the cucumber mask like that's what it was like when I peeled this IRIs off I was like no mom you just have to put a little bit on so I use this this ceramic tip and I, as you see I didn't put any more on but I'm just kind of using it and massaging that in within about eight minutes I should have only done one eye within about eight minutes you will see a difference you will actually feel a tightening sensation in your eye as well, uh, under eye area and sometimes on the, on the corners too. Now, let me say this to you too. Everyone's skin is different. Everyone's skin reacts differently. I have very sensitive and ultra reactive skin, meaning that a product can really irritate my skin or I can see results like that. Some people have more resistant skin. They're more resilient to product. So just because one person has a response quicker than yours, it doesn't mean it's not working. Keep with it. Give it four to six weeks before you give up on it. Um, so keep that in mind, because I think that's a really important thing that so many people forget, is that everyone's skin is different. And the other thing I want to share about that is everyone's skin is different, so every cocktail for skin is going to be different. You're going to customize your skincare differently than the way I would customize mine. And that's what's beautiful about this, is that a lot of skincare lines have this strip and replenish process. You strip the skin, you take all the oil, the moisture out, and then you replenish back in. What I love about our product line is each product is created to rejuvenate, rebalance, and replenish the skin. So that's something that's really key, um, key about our skincare as well. Um, okay, so I saved the best for last. Quick, 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 quick question yeah. about that. What about everybody saying they activate it by moistening their skin? We hear that from a lot of people, that they wet their skin before they put that on to get a better result. Have you heard that? The eye rise? Yep. I have not. That's so that might, be a, that might be a technique, but I have not heard that. And as an esthetician, that was not something I was ever taught but it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It doesn't mean that it might not enhance the product for people. So if it works for you that way, then continue using it that way. Um, but I personally do not use it that way. Um, and that's something that I use all over. I do that on my 11s. I do it on my smile lines. I mean, I hit it everywhere because it's got the hyaluronic acid in a natural state and it plumps. It just holds hydration and water and everything so uh, when you use that not and it is obviously a, a very it, it's one of our more high-end products but it's got so many different uses that I didn't know if you used it on any other areas too so I so I, I will like I'll take extra like I have it on my hand right here I'll throw it here I definitely yeah. throw it like right in here a little bit um yeah. and then the other thing I want to say is because you brought up hyaluronic acid and you know and you brought up collagen as well so one of the purposes of the hyaluronic acid is to penetrate into the skin and surround that elasticity and, and protect that elasticity from breaking down. So that's mm -hmm. another really important preventative and anti-aging ingredient is your hyaluronic acid. Also, it can hold up to 50 times its water weight. So you're just giving your skin a drink of water. Mm -hmm. So hyaluronic acid is, is, is amazing and it comes in different forms. Um, more so you'll hear hyaluronic acid or vitamin B5. Those are going to be your two key terms in, in the skincare um, world. And is hyaluronic uh, in anything other than the eye? Is it in, any, in anything else? Um, you know, I don't remember if it's in the cool balm or not, but that's definitely used more as a hydrator as well. It's got more hydration than moisture to the skin. So hydration mm -hmm. and moisture is totally different as well. Um, but let me look into that, Blair, and I'll let you know. Okay. So, um, okay. So 
once again, like I said, as an esthetician, there's one product that I think every single person needs to have, and that is sunscreen. And um, I will tell you that once again, I was using this medical grade sunscreen and it was a gel and I loved it and my skin loved it. And um, when I first joined this company, we didn't have half the products that we have now. You know, we had, you know, maybe eight makeup products and then we didn't even have a skincare line. Like I told you, all of a sudden we're, we're launching a skincare line, um, but we've added in our sunscreen and our eye eyes and all these other products that we haven't had, you know, I was using other products and, and making sure that I was still using a sunscreen no matter what, like that, there was no, um, there was no excuses. There were no, you know, questioning that. Like, and even when I would talk about the products, I was like, listen, you have to have a sunscreen. So when they launched the sunscreen, I was like, oh, man, like, here we go again. I love my sunscreen. I've got all my customers look like my clients love it. Like, Oh, really? I got to try this. And, um, I tried it two years ago in May and it is honestly the product that, uh, there's no words for this product. You guys, there's no words for this product. This product is a three in one. It acts as the best primer, but underneath your makeup, it actually has a natural anti-aging ingredient that replicates retinol, which is chicory root. So not only are you getting a primer, but now you have anti-aging sunscreen, like your sunscreen's anti-aging too. And then it's a moisturizer and a broad spectrum. And so I wanna take you a little bit to the importance of broad spectrum, right? Because so many people growing up, we didn't have the understanding of sunscreen or the importance of it the way that we do. Well, I'll have you know, it just happens to be National Sunscreen Day today. So happy National Sunscreen Day to all yep. of you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, and that's all about educating and remembering how important it is about the different UV raises that are actually, you know, we're taking in when we're outside or even inside. So let me share with you a little bit, and I'm going to invite you to do something with me in a minute. So um, with sunscreen and UVA and UVB. So your UVB raises are your shorter raises. I like to think of UV, UVB raises as your burning raises. These are the ones that you can physically see when you see the redness, when you know you're burnt. Those are the UVB raises. UVA raises are the ones that are the more dangerous ones. Those are your longer rays that actually go into the skin, that are your cancer causing raises, that are your aging raises, the ones that age you, the ones that you get the pigment from. So remember when all of a sudden tanning booths and people were getting burned and they're like, oh, Let's come up with this great idea and come up with high pressure beds where you don't burn. Awesome idea. Those are actually UVA raises. So yeah, you weren't burning, but now you're in a pressure, high pressure bed that is just UVA raises. So the UVA raises also go through glass that you get them 365 days a year. People will say to me, well, Lisa, I don't need to wear sunscreen in the winter. The sun isn't that, it's not that potent in the winter. I'm inside all the time. So what I wanna invite you to do right now is take a look at both of your hands. And I want in the chat, which hand has more sunspots on it, your left or your right? And let's see what we get. Left, left, keep them coming ladies, left. Look at all the lefts. All right, there's a right. Left, another right. Ooh, a same one. Not sure, right. Okay, so keep them coming as I go, but a lot of you are saying left. And the reason why that is, is because we, most of us, if we're in the US, we drive <laughs> on the right side of the road and our left hand is facing the window. And so those UVA raises are coming in constantly, constantly on the left side of our face. I have more sun damage and pigmentation on the left side of my face than the right side of my face because we're constantly getting those raises. So even if you think you don't need sunscreen, you do. And that's a perfect example when you look at both my hands, how I have sunspots right here on my left and not one on my right. And for those of you that have a more on your right, um, 
I don't have an explanation for that, but I will say a funny story. I did this presentation a couple of weeks ago and I forgot that we had a lot of Australians and UK people on the Zoom and they're like, right, right. And I was like, wait a second, right. Why are they all saying right? And I couldn't go along with the comments and I panicked and I was like, I don't, and I just like went dumb. I was like, I don't get it. Like, what? and they're like, because we drive on the opposite side of the road. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's funny. so um that is truly so important and that's a little bit more education behind broad spectrum and why it's so important that you need a broad spectrum not to mention a lot of sunscreens have a lot of chemicals in it so a lot of people are like well yeah that's great that i'm using sunscreen but now i'm putting all these chemicals into my body so it's like one way or the other like what's what's better but ours is actually plant and mineral based we have a safe um a safe zinc, uh, it's from a reef and it's zinc oxide um, and it's SPF 30. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to end this, um, how I wear my sunscreen in the summertime because I don't wear a lot of makeup. I'll wear my mascara and that's it. So I wanna show you, cause I didn't get to show you my trick last week. And like I said, I'm all about save time, save money. So this is it ladies, this is what Lisa does. Normally I hodgepodge some Sotox and sunscreen together, but I already have my, my I already have my Sotox on. So we're just gonna throw a little bit of one drop wonder on. Remember my five dot method. I don't even know. Oh, I don't think I put Sotox on yet. I don't think I put anything on other than skin polish. My skin feels amazing with just skin polish. So all right, well, we did the one drop wonder first, thinking that I did skin polish. But it says it works either way. So, <laughs> um, okay, so what I'll do then I can actually do it this way. So I take about a pump and a half of Sotox. I take a pump of sunscreen, eh, a pump and a half of sunscreen. And then I take our perfect bronzing lotion. And what I love about this is it just gives me the perfect glow. It also has a little shimmer in it. So from the light, it reflects any texture. So if you struggle with texture on your skin, this is actually gonna reflect and cre create a softening look. So ladies, if you struggle with texture more under your arms or some people you know, struggle with, with um, cellulite, things like that, this is like a miracle worker because it's not actually gonna tighten, it's just gonna deflect and like distort it a little bit and <laughs> take the attention <laughs> off of it. So this is the bronze color I'm using. You can use the gold, you can use the rose gold, but listen, I'm all about color in the summer. So this is how I do it. I create a tin and moisture, a moisturizer. Five dots. And a I did this today and I was blown this. away. Blown yes. Away. I mean, and it's so my, natural. And my customers say like, Lisa, you wouldn't think that it would be a difference, but when you look at it, there's just, it's a difference. You have a difference to your skin. It blends beautifully. I love using the Sotox with the sunscreen so it breaks down the concentration of the sunscreen a little bit and not concentration of its effectancy, just the concentration of applying it to get a really nice even application. And then you can do your neck if you need to. And ladies, I'll be happy to say when I came on last week, I was at Olive 2 and I'm moving on up. I'm at Olive 3. <laughs> Progress here. So, that is crazy. You You're glowing. So and sweaty. not too much. It's not shimmery. It's not, you know, it's just like you've been just, kissed by the sun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope that, um, you know, you have. Um, are taking something away from this. Um, and, you know, really excited for you to go back to your beauty guides after this and talk to them about your desired results that you're looking for so that they can help customize the perfect regimen for you. Awesome. That was amazing. All right. So Lisa, thank you so much. That was just so much information. I know everybody's going to go back and watch it again. Let's just show Lisa what we learned. What's your favorite thing that you took away from this? If you'll put that in the chat bar, that helps her as she's sharing and talking and educating. Um, Lisa, let's speak to this for just one second. Um, like for so many of us, we came off of chemicals. Okay. So we were with another line uh, for 
for me, I was 25 years. And so it was a slower process for me to see the results that I really was wanting immediate results. But once it started to really, you know, whatever it did to re rebuild my skin, it was like my skin went into like super, super, super hyper speed. So what do you tell people who are coming off of chemicals into all natural? Because it's not always the quick gratification because you're trying to repair all of some of the damage that's been done by chemicals. So Blair, that is an awesome question. And actually when I have a new skincare client or customer, excuse me, I actually tell them that they may go through a purging process. When you're putting all these toxins into your skin over and over again, they've got to come out. So when all of a sudden you start using products that are free of harsh chemicals and things that your skin doesn't recognize, it might freak out. It might, uh, you, you may break out, you may have a session where you break out for, for a week or so. Um, nothing to be scared of, that's just purging those toxins out, that's getting all the bad things out of your skin so that your skin can actually start to recognize more natural products because our skin is natural. When we're putting right. these chemicals in, our, skin, our, our body is actually transferring it to the synthetic form. Mm. So when we put these products on that are from the earth and are from the ground, our body recognizes them, them quicker. It's just that it has to purge everything out that's not good first. I so, love it. Oh. Yeah, you just have to trust the process. Like, that's why we're beauty guides. And that's why I can do this and not be an esthetician because it, you will get the results. I mean, we have seen so many women that crossed over from our other line. And now we look at our skin and we're like, oh my gosh, like we didn't even know what was possible because when you're putting chemicals on your face, you don't really get to see the results that are you know, available when you let your skin breathe and, 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 and regenerate. So. And the one thing I want to say to that too is that you know, when I first, I had a friend tell me, she was like, Lisa, when you first started talking about this skincare, like I was looking at your skin going, what? Has she lost her mind? <laughs> but I'll tell you, focus on the way it feels, not the way it looks. The that's way good. it feels is so much more important than the way it looks because that's the results that you're going to get from the inside out. The outside mm -hmm. is going to be the last thing for you to see. So even though my skin was just not pretty, <laughs> it was a mess, it felt replenished. It felt good. And so I just stuck with it because of the way it felt, not the way it looked. Good point. Love it, love it, love it. Such great information. We will go on to more products with Lisa when we come back and do another session with her. But that's great. You have an idea of the five products to start with, the, the, the really get your ba best bang for your buck. We're talking beauty on a budget. These products are all affordable. You just got to get with your beauty guide and figure out what your budget is and where you can start. But definitely, you know, sunscreen is so important right now. Our facial sunscreen is probably the best on the market. We, we spent years bringing it to the market market because we our company does not believe in bringing anything into uh, the the retail uh, world until it's perfect so it's called perfect sunscreen which is just so ironic but it is really perfect sunscreen and so um, a lot of us got our amaze box last month which is our monthly prescription um, our subscription box and it was free in there so so many women got to experience that sunscreen that might not have and really sun is the number one reason our skin gets damaged sun is the number one cause of our skin aging and looking old before it's time. So, you know, I love that we've got, you know, the bronzer that we can put on the sunscreen, we can put on the, the things that repair and regenerate. But I think what we love most about this line coming from a chemical baseline is we only are using a few products. It's like less is more. Um, you have to understand that if you're coming away from a product line that, you know, they had peels and, you know, all these different things that you really, you really have to give your skin a chance to just get pH balance. We don't have a toner. We talked about that last week. There is no toner. Our products are all pH balanced for your skin. So it's like the best hidden gem. And I like to tell them this is a hundred million dollar company in five years and it's majority skincare. Like we were a makeup, a pro makeup company. And the majority of our sales come from skincare because no one makes anything like this. And this was Michelle's golden child. So our prices are affordable because our markup is so little because Michelle truly, she lost her best friend. She wanted to get these products in the hands of everyday women. And I love that. This, pro this is a product line for everyday women. You don't have to be able to afford, you know, the finest things to be able to use the finest products. And, and I just, I, I commend her for that because she really went, wants to protect us. She wants to protect all men and women. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. That was phenomenal. We will definitely do this again. I love, I could listen to you for hours and hours. Were there any more guests that hopped on 
any more guests because we're putting you into the spinning wheel right now. If you're a guest, just tell us your name and who invited you and we're going to put you into our prize wheel and we're about to do the thing. I wanted to tell you, you know, we do have samples. You can get together with your beauty guide to try a few samples, but what I recommend is just try it because it's 100% money back guaranteed. Everything we have is happiness guaranteed. Like I had never even heard of that. Like who comes up with a happiness guarantee? In our old company, if you didn't like color, it was too bad, so sad. Here, if you don't like a color, you can send it back and they'll send you a new one or they'll refund your money. I've never seen a company do so much. So um, you do need to get back together with your beauty guide. Do we have all of our guests in now? Because we have this lovely little, 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 uh, this is our dream gloss, another one of our uh, best-selling glosses for summertime. So we're going to punch it, go for it, and we're going to see I've got our... everybody's name listed here. Yes. Look at all those names. That is awesome. And guys, if you're not joining us live, you're missing out on rewards and prizes and just the energy. You got to come on live. All right. We ready? We ready? Here we go. Here, listen Let's to the <laughs> Wow. Wheel, wheel of fortune. Huh? <laughs> Haley T. Yay. Who is Haley a guest of? Haley, just put in the comments who you're a guest of. We're almost through here. We are so excited you guys all joined us. We want to tell you, keep coming back. You have two ways to shop here. You can shop and we will guide you through this. We absolutely want you to, to, to fall in love with as many of these products as you can. And if that means you become a, a, a smart shopper, somebody who wants to enjoy these products and share with family and friends, we will help you. So the ways women shop is they go through their beauty guide and they shop as a customer or they go through their beauty guide and they become a beauty guide and they shop at discounts and savings. And we love that. I mean, this is really all about beauty on a budget. So we want you to know you do have that opportunity. You do have that option. And when you join us, you are joining a force of women who are here to support you. Like people go, how do I get started? I'm like, come to beauty on a budget. We do them twice a week. You always have the support here. You've got 50 or 60 women here that are actually helping you feel like you know what you're doing even when you don't so we love that so please 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 come back and keep inviting guests I want to give a big shout out to Suzanne because I think this is her fifth time I've seen her beautiful face here Suzanne is a, a guest Suzanne I'm sending you a special gift I got your address so you're gonna get something extra special for being a five time beauty on a budget girl. I mean, congratulations to you. Thank you for showing up. I know you're just trying to digest all this new information because you, like many women, have never heard of this line, but just know it was a $1 million company five years ago, and it's now a $100 million company. And, and I ask women all the time that are beauty guides, do you have returns? None of us have any returns because everything we have is so pure and natural and it's healthy and it's good for you. And you can just feel so confident when you share these products with women that you love. And like Lisa said, we're all all here to serve each other, right? Like that's why we love this because we're in the service industry. We are not in the selling industry. I've never felt like I was selling anything. When I've got beautiful samples that I can send women that are sick and tired of, you know, their skin not looking at its peak performance. Like we have products that perform and I love, you know, most of our anti-aging starts with our cleanser. It's got all these different essential oils in it and it's just everything we have is so good and we don't have a lot we just have a little bit of amazing. We have a cleanser, a moisturizer, a few anti-aging products, and then we throw you into the botanical foundation and it will rock your world to the core. So once you, once you get your hands on this, you're gonna wonder where it's been all your life. And that's what we all say is, why didn't we do this sooner? Why didn't we hear about this sooner? We're out of New York City. This actually is a brick and mortar store you can walk into, but you wouldn't know what to do there because it's only been really the celebrity makeup artists, the pro makeup artists that use these products. And now we get to. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank, thank you, Lisa. Blair. Yes, thank, thank you. you, Suzanne. Thank you for being here, everybody. You guys have an amazing night. We'll see you on Sunday on our, on our makeup edition of Beauty on a Budget. See everybody then. Bye. Bye.